actually I'm going to differentiate x divided by a square plus x square so let's see the answer so first you're writing the given the given let y equal to x divided by a square plus x square so this is the form of u divided by v so if you have form like this so you should follow the cosine rule so what exactly the cosine rule is so d d u v divided by dx so right here v do the differentiation of u and minus right u do the differentiation of v and here v s square so you should follow this so first here writing differentiation with respect to x differentiation with respect to x so dy by dx here u and v so write here a square plus x square to the differentiation of x dx minus write here x and do the differentiation of a square plus x square divide by dx and after that write here a square plus x square whole s square so v square then x square a square plus x square so now here writing dy by dx so this is a square x square and this dx by dx that is equal to 1 here x so a square differentiation 0 plus x square differentiation 2x so this here 2 into x what 2 minus 1 that is equal to 2x divide by a square plus x square whole s square now this here dy by dx a square plus x square and this here minus 0 into 2x that is here 2x and uh, a square plus x square whole s square after that dy by dx a square plus x square 2x into x that is 2x square here a square plus x square whole s square now the next is dy by dx so this subtract then that is equal to minus x square and here you can get a square plus x square whole square so this is the answer of this differentiation question okay so this is the form of u and v so you should follow this way so that you can get this answer one time going to repeat so right here given this is the form of u, uh, uv so you should use here constant rule so do the differentiation a is the constant so constant differentiation 0 so here doing the differentiation of u part that is x and v part a square x square so a square differentiation 0 x square differentiation 2x and after doing the calculation then you can get this terms so this is the way we can do the differentiation of this question so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you